Ladies and gentlemen, I know that was long, but the women are amazing and breathtaking. Um, I would like to thank Sukanya. I know she's got a one o'clock. Um, and Sukanya, I'm sending you a gift to you because I know you have to be out of here. But I would love for Susan to close um, and thank Susan for, for taking part. So many cool, articulate, smart, fierce, funny women here tonight balancing on those amazing tiny little heels. I, if you noticed, I don't have those on, but that's my privilege. I'm probably the oldest one here, so I get to wear flats. Um, I'd just like to say that if everyone's been getting up and talking in front of this thing, which says, you obey the rules, you miss out on the fun. Did anybody see that? No. All right. Well, I'd just like to leave you with this little um, thought. I think Andy has it down pretty well. And that is to, as we get to these positions of power or authenticity or whatever you want to call it, however you feel connected to it, let's remember to have a good time. Let's remember to enjoy it while we're there because you can get carried away with the schedules and the kids and the, uh, you know, all the stuff that women do, multitasking, that's in our genes. I know, guys, it's, don't take it personally, but it's not your trip. Um, and you can get kind of carried away in the being, oh, I get a bowl. Thank God. I was getting really upset that I didn't have my bowl. Um, <laughs> you also get a plaque. The only thing is, is that nobody packed it. It's in the office. We're going to send that one to you. <laughs> Multitasking again. Okay. Um, so I would just like to say let's, you know, remember to enjoy ourselves. Uh, power never gives up power to someone else. So you do have to take it. You have to break the rules which can be really fun. And let's remember in the spirit of fun that we do all these things and our daughters will catch that fun and our sons will catch that fun because it's up to us as moms to raise boys that don't feel humiliated by compromise and negotiation. Boys that I'm sure with moms like this will celebrate strong women and encourage strong women and therein lies the change that we need because Seriously, you know, nothing can change if we don't respect women and if we don't honor them and if we don't appreciate them, but it has to start with our sons. I was in Nicaragua and I think it was 84, and I was talking to the woman who happened to be a med student, and, and the women took over the army because only because the guys all were dead, uh, not because they had some kind of consciousness raising, but they came out of the kitchen and this woman. Um, was a med student. She was quite young and she uh, had liberated the first city. And I was asking her about machismo. I said, well, how did that change? You know, how did she said, well, it didn't change. You know, we only got our shop because there was nobody left. But she says machismo is like hemophilia. It's carried by mothers and given to their sons. And so not only do we have to focus on our daughters, but I have two boys and once I had boys, I really appreciated men so much more because what they go through is even worse than what we go through. The, every sensitive thing in them is just droned out by the so socialization process. And it's, you know, this new group of kids. My youngest is 20, and he's really outside the box, and he is ready, and, and his relationship to women is completely different than the men that I met along the way. Um, and I'm proud of that, and I think we have to give boys and men a chance to rise to the occasion and help us get where we're getting by, by, by supporting and helping us with our kids, if you have kids, or uh, all the other things that women do, because it's the, you know, the curse of the competent woman is uh, being competent, and everyone forgets to open the door. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so let's get our boys together and our daughters together. We know what the daughters need, but the boys need a little bit of, of help too. And let's have fun while we're doing it because it is a glorious time to be a woman. Uh, and, uh, you know, everything is falling apart, which is the best time for us <laughs> to get in there and make a difference. So, uh, you know, let's, let's do it. And I'm happy to be here. And I thank you for my bowl. I thank the waiters for my tequila. <laughs> and uh, God bless all of you women. I'm really happy to, uh, so many different sizes, shapes, colors, languages that are here today. And that is the future and that is our strength. And uh, thank everybody for being here.
Thank you, everybody. Um, I would like to thank my husband, who has made New York Moves even possible, and um, him believing in the power of women. Um, and that's his ev ev eviction to life and to passion. And I'd love to thank all of our partners um, who participated, who supported and made this happen from um, Pernura Card to Lennox to Godiva to Red Door. Um, all amazing, amazing celebrations, all in honor of the women that we were celebrating. I would love to thank Zoe and uh, Paul Dano for joining us. He, Paul was on the cover of our full fashion issue. And if anybody gets the chance and wants to really appreciate what love actually means, please celebrate and watch Ruby Sparks. I am not kidding. It is an adorable, adorable movie and didn't get all of the credit it was due. But if you believe in love, then believe in these two guys. Thank you. Thank you, Susan.